It is time to podcast. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Survive Today. We have our first video here on the Buffs here on the Buffs show, where we are going to be talking about an actual season that is not airing live now, but is going to be airing live. We've only ever talked. We've only ever done tier ranks, uh, Dreamcasts, but this is our first time talking about an upcoming season. So, of course, we're super excited. In our first video about Survivor Season 41, we're going to have plenty more. But we are doing a uh, cast assessment. So the cast has been released. Uh, we didn't know if it was real or false. We looked into it. We reached out to all 20. I think it's a 20 or 18. I think it might be 18 because they're doing three tribes. We reached out to all 18. We got responses from... Three of them confirming that the list is real. I'm not going to say who because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. And they're asking me to keep it secret. We have interviews coming up with some of these players. Um, unfortunately, it won't be until the season is airing. Uh, hopefully, we can get all 18. Hopefully, yeah. we can get all 18. But, um, yeah, so we are going to do the cast assessment one by one. We're going to look at uh, what little information we know about them, who they are, where they're from, how old they are, what job they do. Um, why we know it's true. We're going to look at their Instagrams. Gideon's going to be able to pull up their uh, their Instagrams. Um, most of yeah. them. Some of them Some of them are, are ghosts on social media. Um, but I'm excited for 41. How about you? How about you, Gideon? Oh, man. I've been thirsting and thirsting for some new Survivor content. Don't get me wrong. I love the tier ranks, but, man, do I miss talking about <laughs> survivor and in the time you know we started this channel um mm -hmm. and we haven't like had an opportunity like some of the international people and uh big brother people right. to actually watch something live and commentate on something live so this is the preseason we're gearing up and i'm i'm so excited and uh it's gonna be awesome yeah yeah man absolutely absolutely um this is just a cast assessment, but just to briefly touch on the rumors, uh, the rumors are 18 players, 26 days, two ah. survivors, obviously one one winner. Don't know how to feel about the 26 days. I think I don't it's know just how because of COVID feel. restrictions. I know. I, I, if it's just because of COVID restrictions, it's okay. It's okay. Um, because yeah, I get it. it. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to thing. feel. Yeah. Um, apparently it's going to be in Fiji and apparently it's just going to be called survivor season 41. No name, no nothing. Um, I'm not, I honestly don't care too much about the name of the, of the season to me, as long as there's good gameplay, as long as there's a good cast, where they are, what the theme is, is not as important to me personally. So calling it 41 is okay. The season's great. Jeff said the season's great. Jeff also says every single season. I remember how much he hyped up Karen Bowen. Anyway. I remember hyping up Island of the Idols. I mean, I didn't... Yeah. Yes. Yes, I remember that. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to go through all the players, uh, what we know about them. Uh, so why don't we start off with – you want to start off with Brad? Yeah, we're going Brad. Brad. You can, yeah, you can see on the screen in the top how what order we're going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going, Brad. You, if you want to pop up his Instagram real quick, uh, um, right. has he has he said anything upcoming about uh, mm -hmm. some of them? I looked at like you know taking a break, taking a um, I from a couple hours ago. But I know some see. of them. Yeah, you can see Survivor memes. Fifty-one weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them, if you look at their Instagrams, it's like oh, twenty-eight um, weeks, twenty-six. Yeah. 26 week, yeah. a 26 week break from social yeah. media. That's not and normal. Now we're here. That is not normal. Not normal. Yeah, um, so, you know, rancher. So he's a rancher from Wyoming. He's 49 years, years old. We've had a couple ranchers that have done pretty well. We've had um, Scott, who came in third in Vanuatu. Of course, we had uh, JT, who won Token Jeans. Wendy was a rancher. She didn't do that good in the last place in Nicaragua. We had Rick Nelson, came in fifth in South Pacific. That brings the average placement for ranchers on Survivor at seven. So not too bad. Ranchers do okay. Maybe it's because uh, ranchers um, have a lot of responsibility and they're used to kind of 
I don't know. I don't even know why I think Randy I wanna, Bell wants her. Well. I want to point out something here real quick. I want to point out the bio of this guy's Instagram, taking you back to the real ranch life where our family's team and work is hard, and the handshake still means something. Is this going to be a guy? Is this going to be a guy where he's like, oh, I'm honorable. I'll shake on it. I'll never break a handshake. Because uh, mm-hmm. we've had some people like that on Survivor before. Oh, I never, I've never broken the honor of a handshake back in season three, if you guys remember yeah. Frank. Is this going to mm-hmm. be another Frank, or is this guy going to play the game? I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. He seems fun, but, uh, though. He seems like a cool, fun guy. Yeah. Trying to look Just if he basically. follows any Survivor fan pages or anything. I don't see anything. So he might not be a super fan, but, you know. Um, yeah. Here's what's interesting that I found. First ever Survivor player from Wyoming. There's never been a Survivor player really? from Wyoming. Okay. Never been well, one. You know what, Adam? I have to admit something. I, I theorized for years that Wyoming isn't real um, because you hardly hear anybody is from there. Right. And uh, so I don't know how much I actually trust this guy. I think he works for the government. I think Wyoming is a uh, is a ploy, but, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. The last last thing I'll say about him, he was 49 when they filmed this season 41. There, He would be the ninth ever 49 year old on survivor there's never been a winner that won the season uh, to, that won survivor at 49 there's been a couple notable players kathy vavrick was 49 in all stars randy bailey was 49 the first time he played rupert was 49 when he came back in blood versus water so um i don't know i don't know i don't know about this guy he's he's he's, he's 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 a mixed bag he is a mixed bag 49 but country and doesn't seem to look 49 i mean he looks so he looks older he looks like a dad i feel like ranchers i feel like he looks like he's in pretty good shape yeah yes i I feel like ranchers approach life a bit more laid back i feel like he's not going to be the overthinker i feel like he's going to take take things slow ease back not to the point where he's doing nothing and as we've seen with these country boys uh such as keith uh age don't matter when it comes to challenges you can still be good yeah I'm not going to go ahead and say, oh, he's going to be the old guy. He better watch out on that first vote because, you know, usually you try to get out people that are weak. I won't say he's weak. I can't say just based off his Instagram how far I'll think he'll go in the game. But, yeah. uh, you know. If I had to guess, 6 to 10 range. If I had to really? guess. Really? Really? You think you just, think he's going to be – you think he's going jury is what you think. I think I think he'll be jury. That, that's the way I think he'll go. It's, it's tough right. because – We've I, never seen someone from his location, but ranchers have done well, and he seems like a fun, laid-back dude. I want I to think. agree with you because I think he'll be taken off based on the fact that it'll be come merge and then jury threat. Yeah. All right. That's our prediction. Okay. okay. You want to move on? Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on to Danny McRae. I am excited to talk about this guy, NFL player. Yeah. Retired, yeah, retired NFL player. Um, obviously wasn't the most well-known NFL player, um, having only a thousand followers and how many of those have come since the season 41 cast has been released. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, probably quite a bit, you know, you see a bunch of survivor fan pages on here, be strong survivor. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so probably won't be recognized like Cliff and, uh, Gary Hogelboom were cause those were world right. class athletes, Cliff, an amazing basketball player, Hogelboom, a uh, great quarterback. So I don't, maybe he won't be yeah. recognized. Will he tell people he played for the NFL? Maybe not. Uh, yeah. I see he's a podcast host too. So, so he's obviously a good talker, you know, he's obviously a good conversationalist. He seems like a family guy. So, yeah. um, yeah, I, I, he yeah. definitely has a break. He definitely had a post where he was like taking a break, or there was a big break in his posts. Uh, yeah, June, June. Oh gosh, because they, they all these fifty-one week breaks, man. All of these yeah. posts. There was a thirty-week break in between these two posts. Thirty weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they filmed in May, so it's between the Christmas one and the most recent. Seemed like the break, the big break. This one. Yeah. Twenty-two so week cr- break. It's twenty-two Christ- weeks. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Break. Um, Merry now, Christmas Danny, from the McRae family. Yeah. NFL players in the NFL. You Allen came fifteen. Uh, Hogan Boone came in seventh. You have Steve and Grant from Redemption Island who came in tenth and eighth respectively. Brad came in fifteenth and second when he played Game Changer. So the average for NFL players is ten. Um, not bad. I, not bad. But Houston I, people from Houston. 
because mm-hmm. he's from Houston, haven't done as well. You have Danielle, mm-hmm. Jolanda, uh, Allen all came in 15th. Uh, B came in 15th. Tarzan came in 6th in one world, but – Do we really count good. that? And then Karishma on the idols. So for some reason, people in Houston just haven't uh, made it that far. But yeah. but he's 33. We've had three 30 uh, – or we've had two winners at the age of 33. We've had Chris Doherty and Wendell. Both won. Uh, Devins, two um, good winners. Jerry Manthe, the fir- Jerry Manthe, Fair Play, Mike Renesia, and Natalie, who came in second, was 33 on, on winners at war. So he's, I don't know, I feel like he's going to be one of those guys that like is such a great social player. He seems like a great human being. Seems obviously, like a family a guy. Physical, obviously, a physical threat because this guy still I, looks to yeah. be in pretty good shape. I mean, yes. You know, you see some NFL players retire and they just put on so much weight because they have to have a diet and then they get off like of this. the workout plan. The, the quiet, um, I like that. Now, in athletes, it seems to be hit or miss, though, from you know, because you have some mm-hmm. great. You had some great athletes. We've had some great athletes play. Never won like Jeff Kent. I mean, he was a pretty good player. Yeah. And um, Gary, the the Gary Hogelboom, the uh, yeah. first idol found, and a pretty good player. But then you've had some just be duds. Um, hmm. So I don't. I, I hope this guy's not a dud because I love seeing athletes play. I, I mean, me and you have talked about having an an all athlete season. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, went to LSU. Coaches football. If I had to guess, if I had to guess for Danny, I'd say he's a coach. Gets, Watch out. I'd say he gets eliminated just before merge, like maybe the last one before the merge. Um, I'll say I'll say that, but if he sticks his roots pretty well at the merge, you might see him go to the end. Yeah. If it, 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 it's just a matter of you know, if you're a threat like that, if you're a great social and physical threat then you're either going to get taken out right before the merge or right at the merge. But if right. you, you know, really stick your, stick your hand in there, like somebody like Tom did or JT did where you can kind of like pull a, pull a wool over people's eyes, then he can go. You just never know. Yeah. He's our first, first him, alpha male. If I was him, I wouldn't tell people I played for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. I wouldn't because when you hear NFL player, even though, I'd like to think that now people want to respect the winner. It's still a matter of, do I need the money? And if you hear NFL player, you think rich, even though this guy didn't play for the Cowboys very long. Um, but, you know, still there's a facade over that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you got to say about that? That's yeah. I'm cool with that. Right. I'm going to move on to the next guy. Let's move on to Evie. Jagoda. Evie? Evie? I don't know. Is, is, Evie. It, is it Evie? Evie? All right, we'll go with Evie. Evie Jagoda. Let's okay. see here. Shabbat Shalom. She Jewish or something? I don't know. Um, I'm looking for... Is there a break? Where's the break? It seems like she posts often. Ah! Okay. Here's a break. What was that? Did that say she's going on? Some of them have said like... 49. Oh, going on a Hold on. 49. 49. 49 weeks to one week ago. I, th- she, I think she would have been back. I think that was her break, yeah. Yeah, that would have been her break. There I mean, go. that's a 49-week break on these people's Instagrams. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Evie is a 28-year-old research student from, like, the Cambridge, Boston area. Um We've had a lot of players from like the Cambridge, Boston area. Of course, the first one that pops your mind is, of course, Boston Rob. You have Austin, Dan, LJ, Rodney, um, Elizabeth came in fourth. Ethan is actually from the Boston area. Um, Aubrey, so you have, I guess, two winners. Consider that. Lots, yeah, um, lots of people from that area. The average placement for someone from the Boston area, nine. Mm-hmm. Nine? Nine, nine. Um, there have been 36 28 year olds on Survivor, Island. So she will be number 37. There's been one winner, though. So one winner, Oof. and that's Natalie Anderson saying one no, sir. Um, okay. Rob was 28 when he played All Stars. Wentworth's first season, she was 28. Uh, DK Chillin, and then Adam and Nick were 28 on Winners at War. So I, it's tough because 
she is a she's the first ever like research student. So we can't really compare her to anyone else job wise. I think she's one of those younger people that can actually make it far. She seems very smart, very fun, very outgoing. I think or she's is she going to overthink. Yeah, or is she going to overthink? That's the, that's the, that's that's the uh, I I don't know. I, I'm not seeing any indication that she's an outdoorsman. But you don't have to be. I'm I, just something I look for. Um, I'm going to say early, early, early jury vote. That's that's my prediction for her. She seems. I think she'll make good social bonds. Um, yeah, yeah. I would say early exit. Oh, okay. All right. This is the first time right. we'll disagree. Okay. I don't know. Right. I don't. I mean, what can I base off of? Just what's her story? Instagram? What's her story? What's she doing what's today? What's her story saying? Can't be trusted with a spillable liquid on the same table as a computer. Sets a she's she's setting a uh, a uh, what's that called a coaster on a uh, stool. So I think she's going out early just for that. <laughs> so that's my prediction. I don't know. I can't. Okay. What, what, I don't know. Is there anything else? I don't... Not too many posts. So I don't know. She's Not an interesting one. Posts. Yeah. Wedding beach. I think she travels a lot. Okay. She has a she has a girlfriend, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's a, she's a game changer. <laughs> um. Okay. You want to move on to our next person? Deshaun Radden. M A. Yes, he. Um. There you go. Follow my Adam Jumbo. I follow him. Um. Yeah. Not too many posts. Um, Any not too many posts, so we don't know too much about him. Um, he is a 26 uh, year old pharmacy worker from Phoenix. I don't think he's a pharmacist. I think he works at a pharmacy. So again, this this research, like take it all with a grain of salt. It's tough. Um, I don't know. I feel like if you if you're on social media but don't post that often, it that maybe often translate as being somewhat of a quiet resistant person don't know if he is that don't know if he is that but um you know there have been some it's funny because uh i was looking at pharmacy workers and they almost always come in seven you have penny from thailand seven tiwana from pearl island seven corinne and gabon seven <laughs> and then you have natalie anderson who of course won samoa so the average placement for winners uh, is yeah seven. corinne corinne uh from gabon yeah let's let's hope he acts like her huh <laughs> First ever survivor player from Phoenix. So, been 590. I guess with this season, there would be 608. Uh, Tyson does live there now. Phoenix? Okay. But, but he's he the first one. He, played. he was from Utah. Right. First F. It took 618 sur- or an eight survivors to have one from Phoenix. That's crazy. Um, He's 25 years old, so a little young. Um, he seems a little mature for his age, just based off his Instagram post. Two 25-year-old winners, Natalie White, Tommy Sheehan. Colby was 25 in Australia. Um, Ozzy was 25 in Micronesia. Boston Rob was 25 the first time he played. Um, hey, that's my boy. Yeah. So um, it's tough because it's like we've never seen someone from the background of Phoenix. Um Based off of the but, fact that you th- that you're making the assumption that he's quiet and reserved, where do you think he's going? I don't know about an early exit, but I think he could be like a firm like post merge, like maybe fifth or si- fourth, fifth, sixth exit. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, somewhere in that. Yeah, I mean, he seems like a smart guy. I feel like people want to work with him. I would th- I would think probably somewhere around the same as Brad. Probably go out along with Brad. I don't know. Yeah. Mid or, or pre merge. I think I said post merge. I meant to say mid pre merge, but I think you knew what I was saying. Um, okay. Yeah. But he seems like a cool guy. I mean, it seems like he's he's um, mentally strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he doesn't. I think he could media. Have. Like, I don't think if he'd somehow made it to the um, final tribal council, I think he would still be pretty, like, 
in the game. I don't feel like he's the kind of guy who like would break down. I don't think he's, I think he's a mentally strong guy. So I'm looking forward to seeing him because there's such little we know about him, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, cool. Now I got to talk about this guy, David. I got to talk about him because that's David. from my, that's from my state, man. Okay. Vanderbilt, if you guys don't know, Vanderbilt's one of the greatest hospitals in the United States. Um, hey, hey, let me just cut you up real quick. I see people posting. For those who miss us at the beginning, we are cast. We are doing a cast assessment of the season forty-one contestants. These are the these are the players who are playing on Survivor season forty-one, the upcoming season, which is the last premieres the last Wednesday in September. Okay. This is interesting. A couple, couple, couple people are confused. Okay, that's what we're doing. Post, he didn't post to Instagram until three weeks ago. So probably gearing up to have a social media following after Survivor. Right. Probably said, I should probably get an Instagram because I'm on Survivor now. Uh, right. But yeah, Van, Vanderbilt, if you work at Vanderbilt, you are one of the best doctors um, because mm. that is an esteemed um, place. Everywhere in Tennessee – no matter where you live, if you have something seriously wrong with you that you need the right answer, you go to Vanderbilt. So obviously a okay. very smart cookie. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously he's smart. And um, if you're a doctor, I hope you're smart or else you're not a very good doctor. Um, yeah. But yeah. I don't, I don't know what to think because I've seen some crazy doctors on Survivor, man. Guess how many – so he's a 34-year-old doctor from Nashville. Guess how many doctors there have been on Survivor. It might, it's going to surprise you. How many? He's only the fifth doctor. So who has it been? Dr. Mike, him, so, John, John from John, John from Marquesas. So, I mean, okay, so if you're, if you're considering it to be like an actual – like they earned a doctorate degree. Okay, all right, fair enough. Then it then it goes, but the people that have had their professions listed as doctor, then it's only Marcus from Gabon, Mick from Samoa, Jill from Nicaragua, and Peter from Calrong, with an average placement of ten. And really, it's only that high because, because Mick. Mick, which so doctors, I guess, haven't done well. But people from Nashville have. You have Eric came oh, six yeah. in China. Taj came in fourth. Matt came in seven in Redemption. Baylor came in fifth. Uh, Figgy and Millennials and Gen X, who came in 15. And Libby, who came in 12th and Ghost Island, brings it down a little bit. Before them, the average was like five. Now the average is eight. Um, there's only been eight 30, or sorry, 18 34-year-olds. He would be either – you could look at as the 19th or the 20th because there's another 34-year-old, Chantel Smith, the other TikTok influencer. We'll get to her soon. Um but there have been four winners at the 34-year-old uh, range. Heidek, Ben, Rob, Tyson, all very alpha males, who it seems like this guy could be. Um, Sari was also 34 the first time she played. I think David's someone who can make it far. He seems smart. He's a uh, statistic show that he might make it good. Um, I, think, I think he's either out early or he's doing this is very true. well. Why would you make it? He, he made an Instagram for Survivor. It'd be weird to do that if you got eliminated early. I I think I think he either goes early or he goes far. I think I'm I'm leaning towards far. Yeah, I'm saying I'm saying he makes it to the finale episode at least. It's not okay. final trouble. I I I I mean I'll be and I'll be happy with that. You know Tennessee represent my Tennessee boy. But uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Who's our next All guy? Right. Who's our next victim? Our next victim that we're going to pick apart is Eric Abraham. Okay. Um, okay, mil military background. Military like Texas. Beast. How old is this guy, Adam? 50. He's 50. He does not look 50. He looks pretty good for his age. He will be the eighth 50-year-old player, and there have been no winners who have been 50. And the only person I would even consider a notable 50-year-old was Troy Zan. Yeah, I mean, if you do not do well, it, hey, but if you if you are a fifty year old, you'd want to look like this, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he looks good like shape. a grinder. Yeah, exactly. I mean, ob even even for fifty, I think he'll still do well in challenges. Looks to be in good shape. He's active. He works out. You're in the military. 
So you got mm-hmm. some, uh, you'll be fine in the wilderness and you're very mentally tough if you're in the military. Don't, how, do you know how long you're in the military? Have you gone that deep? No, I know military people, I don't think on average go that far. I think it's because um, they're a bit too confrontational. They're a bit too upfront. They, um, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking of Sarge. I'm thinking of, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was his name? Shamar. Shamar. Shamit. Shamit. Um, first ever, do you know what he is? He's a cybersecurity worker. First ever contestant. Um, uh, Gideon, will you please give What's Up AD a, uh, a shout out real quick? Hey, what's up, AD? Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll even give you more <laughs> attention. <laughs> um, first ever cybersecurity worker. Um, there have been two players from San Antonio. We have Rita from Fiji, who did awful, but we have Kim Spradlin, who won mm-hmm. and then came in and ninth. One of the greatest winners of all time. He could be a potential meat shield. He's tough because he, of all the contestants, I'm going to say this right now, I could see him winning. I could also see him coming in dead last place. Me too. Because here's the thing about, and it's exactly what you said uh, about military people, is that they're very confrontational. If he's Mm -hmm. that, if he's that type of player, he's going to be out early. You know, because mm-hmm. nobody unless, wants to play with anybody like that. Unless people see it and say, this guy has no chance of winning because people aren't on his side. I'm going to take. The and ball. then and then he'll be the crazy Philip character and I'll enjoy it. But yeah. that's I mean, obviously, that's not what I want to happen. So I I it depends. It depends on what type of person he is. I mean, he seems to be a stand up guy. But he could be very blunt, and some people don't like that. I mean, military people. I was in RTC. I've dealt with military people. They just are. They they just are that. They're very tough. But yeah, man, they can be blunt. So I I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say since I said he could be first for last, I'm gonna cut the difference and predict a him being the merge boot. Okay. I'm gonna predict him being the merge boot. I see some people saying they think he's going to go all the way. I believe it. I really could see it with this guy. But I could also see, you know, like I said, military guys haven't made it far. We really haven't seen um, 50-year-olds like he is typically don't do very good. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Saying, I'm, saying I'm, excited. I'm excited to see him play either way. Yeah, me too, for sure. All right. Um, Okay. Here we go. Well, this is a lot of this is a lot of uh, information we have here with Heather Aldret. Adam. Heather. Heather. Oh yes, not a lot of but so she's an artist. Now there have been digital artists. There's been writers. There's been all different types of artists. But this is like the first ever person who's just listed as artist. So I'm assuming when they say that they mean like an artist, as in she paints and draws. Um, which I don't know because artsy people. I mean, I'm an artsy person. I'm a filmmaker. Um, I don't know. I've I've met Eric. artsy people. Yeah, Eric. I've met artsy people who are like super charismatic and charming. I've met artsy people who are super like liberal and like people just you know love place in throwing order, their opinions on everyone. I mean, me and you are both in the arts. You know, in order to be in the right. arts, you got to be a little crazy. Um, yeah. There is such a thing as too crazy, though. And um, I don't know. We don't have a lot of information. We know that she's an artist. How old is she? 50, so she's 52. Older woman. Eight, yeah, she's, there's been eight 52-year-olds. No winners. And the only non-winners are you have Philip in his first season. Tina was 52 when she came back from Blood vs. Water. And then Carol at Mama C was 52. So if she's I a hate- Mama C type person, she's going to be just fine. I hate to be this guy, but I don't think she's a Tina or a Mama C. I'd pr- this is probably my pick for first boot. I might say the same. There's been I only mean, one other player from Charleston, South Carolina, and that was Chelsea Handler, who tied for second place in One World. But I don't really think they are going to be similar people. If I had to pick, I might agree with you. Not being not being sexist or ageist here, but it's just older women don't do very well. At the beginning, especially, usually they're the first targeted in almost every Survivor season. I mean, most first boots are older women. Everyone's saying first boot. <laughs> it's just how it's just how it goes. And um, I mean, 
you know, I like it when older women do go far. I mean, one of my favorite players, Janet, but, uh, you know, T-Bird. I don't know. T-Bird, Jan- I mean, T-Bird wasn't that old when she went on Africa. Though, Late 40s? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Who's next? Who's our next victim? Who are we roasting next? Uh, I'm interested to talk about this guy. Jarius Robinson went to prom, high school prom in 2019. Let's talk about that. <laughs> that <young laughs> this guy. guy is a three young. 20-year-olds. Three 20-year-olds on this season. Golly. He seems fun. He seems like a fun guy. Ron Clark is, follows him. What's changing my life? Corona said no. Well, your life did get changed. You didn't know it yet. You got casted for Survivor. Um, man, I don't know. Young guy. Um, I always always like to look and see if you follow any Survivor fan pages. But, um, oh, Jeff Ropes. He follows the specialists. No. Hey, he needs to follow the buffs. He needs to follow the buffs. Is he a gamer? Is this guy a gamer? He follows the specialists. He follows Wendell. Uh oh, man! If we I'm get liking. a young game, if we get a young gamer, that's what I want, man. I want a young gamer. I'm liking him. I'm liking him. He's. I'm uh, liking him. He follows the buffs. He's a young <clears throat> guy. He's in shape. Um, only thing is, what people see his youth as a disadvantage. The fact that there's three other twenty year olds though does help, yeah. and he doesn't well, look two, two other. Oh, three two other. Him. Yeah, the fact that there's two other twenty year olds should help. He doesn't yeah. look. 20 i mean he he could pass as 25 so I yeah mean. and that was taken three years ago well so. not this picture this picture is the beginning of corona okay now, Beard, there's 60, 63 students i didn't want to add up the average how much a student plays because just saying you're a student is so tough um because it, it can mean so many different things he is the first ever contestant from oklahoma city or i believe oklahoma in general I know, um, what's his name? Uh, Clay, I think, lives in Oklahoma now. But um, there have been no 20-year-old winners. There's been a, a couple non-winners that are notable. I mean, actually, Frosty, Kelly, Baylor, and Angie have been the only four. So there will be as many 20-year-olds in this season as there have ever been in Survivor combined, minus one. <laughs> um, another thing that's so tough is we don't know who gets who, who finds idols. Who gets the who gets lucky with advantages? Who gets lucky and just lucky with tribe swaps? So we can really only base our predictions on them as pl- like as people from from what little we know. But I think he'll make. I, I could see final three. To be honest, I could I could see I could see he gets the fallen angel edit. Honestly, mm-hmm. I could see him getting the Wentworth edit. <laughs> you know, yeah, I like could see him for- being maybe like the Ryan Ulrich of the season. Starts off really strong, puts himself in a great position because he seems like a fun, great social player, but then maybe gets a little too comfortable. Keith, uh, before this, but mm-hmm. um, if he does, I worry. I seriously worry for people who watch Survivor strategy shows, um, uh, because. Uh-huh. <laughs> there is such a thing as overplaying. Um, so yeah. I, I think I think he might overplay, um, but I hope he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So next, who we roast the next? Liliana, Liana Wallace, Georgetown 23. Another 20 year old. Another 20 year old. We got, we got a break. We got a 20 week break here, which is where I think okay. she went on Survivor after this bikini pick right here. Um, uh, well, tell us about her, dude. So she's one of the three 20 year olds in this season. She's a business student, specifically a business student. So there's only surprisingly been one other business student in Survivor, and that okay. has been. Abby Maria Gomez. So it's oh, kind of hard gosh. because they don't seem like the same person. She's from Illinois. Now, every between people in, uh, from the Chicago area, not from Chicago, I think she's on the outskirts. The average placement for people in the Chicago area is eight. Um, business student makes me think she likes um, being in charge. She likes, um, you know, but it could also mean she has great leadership skills. Oh, she follows, Wendell follows her. Okay. Wendell, and Dave, I think her. Wendell and Davey went through and followed everybody. She follows Survivor and Ethan's on. Okay. And Michelle Fitzgerald. 
and Sandra. Oh, and Wendell. Sandra. Yeah. Bunch of survivors. Okay. Yeah, that's good. She's, I don't see the specialists. I don't see rap, but. She's a tough one because that's the thing with these business people. Sometimes business people can be great leaders and like Kim, Kim was, you know, a business person, or they can be like Natalie cool and be like, um, yeah, you know, sometimes bossy. Sometimes they're business, and also sometimes they're business majors because they're gonna work in a business. Business major is such a broad major; right. it's ridiculous. Like that's the basic major for all college business. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so she's a tough one. She's a tough one. Um, gosh, if I had to guess, maybe like kind of like uh, Deshaun mid mid pre merge. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was thinking mid pre merge. Maybe, maybe she has a fiery personality. I don't know. Seems to be fun, but who knows? Yeah, she's getting called a sassy queen, so I don't know if that means anything. But uh, if she is sassy, she's not going to do too well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. She seems fun. All right. But not see her. What's this? What's this guy's name? Nasir. Uh, oh, Mutalis. Nasir. Mutalis. Nasir Mutalis. Okay. Okay. So he's a thirty-six-year-old sales manager from Silicon Valley. If I did my Followed research by Jervis and Cliff. Okay. Okay. And and he's following Russell. Uh -oh. Okay. So he's a, he's a fan. He's a fan. This yeah, is a look big at fan. All this. Here. Look at all these. This guy is a fan. He he. Okay. Okay, he likes the show. He, follow, um, he follows Survivor ranks. That's that is not a yeah. He follows Survivor ranks, which isn't that big of a Survivor page. Silicon uh, Valley, so he's smart. He's a smart guy. Half of um, his followers are just freaking Survivors. Half of his following is just Survivors. He's yeah, yeah. Um, there's been one 36 year old winner. Um, the Sepia, but 19 players. Russell was 36 the first time he played. If I did my research right, he's the only player ever from Silicon Valley. Um, there's been two sales managers. He's a sales manager. There's been two. There's been JP from Vanuatu, came in 16th, but uh, Chris Underwood was a sales manager. So I guess you could consider that, I don't know, you, depending on if you see Chris as being the second vote or the um, winner. It's up to you what you want the average to be. But I think this guy is a player. Now, Cochran was a huge player coming in, and he did bad his first season. Spencer was a huge, knowledgeable, uh, what do you call it, player of the game. And he did great both times he played. So where is he going to stand? I think – I'm looking at some of the uh, people saying pre-merge. Um, this, this one's tough. I could see him going far. I can too. But I can also see him flaming out early. Though. <laughs> I I mean, there's one or two options. Okay, I think I think either he plays hard because he's a fan. He plays hard and he might not be too good at challenges. I don't know. He looks pretty good in this picture. Um, or he does good. He's an asset in challenges. He stays under the radar and does good after the merge, which is the ideal game you want to play. I hope he does the latter. I think this guy would be fun to watch. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say early boot because I want – it feels so much better. Believe it or not, it feels so much better to be proven to be wrong, wrong than it is to be when it comes to this show. Not in most things in life, but in this show, it feels so much better to be totally wrong about someone. I'll, and I'll, I'll, wrong. I'll say four. Okay. Clip it. Clip it, chat. All right. <laughs> All right. Can exit out of that guy. We got next. We got Ricard. All right. Let me find Ricard in my notes. Let me find a good picture of him to. Uh, what do you? I mean, what do you mean? Every picture is a good. Uh oh. We got a runner. I don't know. He <laughs> looks like he's running in this picture. He's got some Seems nice silver adventurous. hair. He's got some silver hair here. He's got a kid. Nice. Looks like it. Family guy. Family guy. Young dad. He's only 31. He yeah. is a flight attendant. There's been two flight attendants in the show's history. Who are they? Uh, ooh, uh, I know one. 
I think. Oh, frick. What's her name, dude? We've interviewed one. Oh, we interviewed. Oh, oh, freaking T-Bird. And then, T-Bird? Uh, no, that, it's the other one that I'm struggling. It's a winner what? from one of the best seasons. Young guy. Oh, Todd. <laughs> gay flight, the gay flight attendant. Now it's coming back to me. Yeah. The gay so, flight attendant. Um, so the average for a flight attendant is three. Oh, another gay flight attendant then. It's the second is one. He? Yeah, he's gay. So it's another gay flight attendant. Is Let's see if Jeff says it on this time. Does he, he does it say he? Oh, and he's on TikTok. He has 170K. Okay. He is the 27th, 31st year old, but only one has won, but it is Yule. Yule was 37 when he won, or 31 when he won on Cook Islands. Um, I'm liking this. I'm getting good. He's, what is he, Puerto Rican? Yeah. Puerto Rican? Yeah, hard I'm of liking hearing. This guy. Oh, hard of hearing. What? He's hard of hearing. That was a joke. Um, yeah, dad. Okay, he's got mm. a nice following on TikTok. Not quite a Curly Daddy 101 following, but... Uh, neither one of the TikTokers on these people are as big as me. I will be getting on the show. That is... that is. <laughs> I will be on the show. I will be on Survivor. What's his, it, what's his it story? Will happen. Can he okay. talk? No, okay. Okay. Right. What's it's his just, TikTok looking like? What kind of stuff oh, he goes? Let me look him up, dude. Let me look him up on TikTok. His kids, man. He likes just, his kids. It, it looks to be family vlogs. His views are pretty good for his following. Of course, that's a lot of people checking him out for Survivor. Um, but it just seems that he's. It just seems that he's a vlogger. I'm gonna say final three. I'm gonna say final three. I could see him maybe winning or coming in second. Let's see. Okay, here's the break he took though between March. Here's three twelve five five thirteen. There's the little break um, between mm-hmm. posting. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm saying final three. I'm saying second place or winner. Yeah, I'll go if he can. See, obviously he can talk and hear very well, so he is hard of hearing, and um, I don't know if there'll be a communication issue. I hope, I hope not. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he can. Okay. If 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 there's no communication issue because he's hard of hearing, I'll go with you to the final. Okay. All right. All right. Is our next one? Chantel, another TikToker, only 155k. These people aren't famous, Adam. You told me these people were TikTok famous. No, I, have two point, I have 2.8 million followers on TikTok. Right. You're telling me these people are famous. Oh, get out of here. Survivor better <laughs> Survivor better cast me, dude. Survivor better cast <laughs> me. They will. That's not a question. They will I will get casted. All right. Anyways. Um so yes, okay. So Canadian, a little bit about Canadian. Chantel. She's Canadian. Canadian. We have our first two Canadian players. Um, Crazy. Both on this season. I'm trying to look at. Who I know is. so we know so many Canadians named Chantel. It's insane. <laughs> I know um, a Chantel. I know a Chantel from Expedition Online. We played together on the Online Survivor, and then obviously mm-hmm. Chantel also on Reality. In the block. Yeah. yeah. She's 34. She's the first ever like influencer online comedian type she's person. A, she's a Christian TikToker. Yeah. Um, similar to the other 34 year old who was uh, the doctor. I forget his name. Who's our, who's our doctor? David. Okay. So same thing with him. There's been four 34 year old winners. Rob won when he was 34. Tyson won when he was 34. Ben in Heroes, Heroes and Hustlers. Heidick in Thailand, and then Suri was 34 when she first played. Ooh, she um, just got back from her break uh, just yesterday. Mm-hmm. Check the comments of her TikTok. Yeah. What are you thinking? You want me to be honest? Yeah. I I don't I don't know. I. 
look, I'm a Christian, so I can say this, okay? But if, like, those overly Christian preachy people, like, usually don't do well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because it puts, because it off puts other people. I can see that being a problem. Um, like, kind of like the, what, the first, the first boot in Survivor China, that's exactly what happened. It's like, they were like, mm-hmm. I need, we need to get her. Like, she's trying to pray that we win a challenge. We just need to win the challenge. I, I say pray pre-merge vote. I hope I'm wrong, though, because TikTok represent, but. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll say pre-merge. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know about early boot. What's your name? Chantel? Chantel. I'm writing down my predictions because we are also going to do a uh, fantasy draft, guys. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna maybe wait till we get closer to the season, but yeah, I'm gonna say get a little closer. I'm gonna say pre work, pre merge, um, pre merge. But yeah. she does feel like she's gonna be maybe the. You know what? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna change my mind and say. Early, another early jury. I'm going to say early merge. Yeah, early merge. Yeah, I like that. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to say early pre merge. Oh, early pre merge. Okay. No, I'm going to say I, early. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spite you. And I'm going to say <laughs> pre merge because we have to disagree on some things. And I yeah. do disagree with you on this. Okay. Yeah. Um, she seems like she's going to be the comic relief of this season. But most times there's the comic relief player. They're not good players. She yeah. seems just – she comes across as being smart and and being a good thinker. I don't know. I don't know. Who's she following? She's she following – she's a super fan? Bernie? Gosh. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I don't see anybody. Canceled. Canceled. Usually it pops up by now if they're following anybody that I follow, and I follow a lot of survivors. I don't, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna say early, early jury member. Okay, he follows he follows Jeff, Natalie, and Jeremy, and survivor and, and the survivor page. Okay, cool. What we right. got Sydney Seagal, future president. Future president. Um, so Sydney's 26. She's a law student. Surprisingly, there's been she will be the 16th law student in the show's history. So they have a thing for law students. Um, however, law students don't normally make the merge. In fact, only one has. If I did my research correctly, the average placement for a law student is 12, and the only reason it's that high is because of one guy, and his name is John Cochran, who was a law student. Um, yeah, she's from L.A. I don't want to do the statistics on L.A. because there's been so many players. Um, I feel like she could make finale episode. You think? Like maybe the first, maybe like the first person to. I don't know. There's so many young people this season. This is one of the young. There this might is. be the youngest season we've seen. So I could, crazy. I could see young people really banded together. I'm gonna say finale episode. Yeah, I'm gonna see maybe. F- Fifth or sixth place. Maybe she like loses just before the fire making challenge. I don't know. It's my prediction. But she seems cool. She seems fun. I think people are gonna like her. I think people are gonna get drawn to her. Yes, yeah, I agree right. with you, Skylar. Making far, not winning. But um yeah. she would be an interesting winner. She seems she also seems very like focused. I don't know. That's how she's coming across. It. She's also really hot. Um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So that could you know drop what, <laughs> winner, true. and I could see her. I could see her, and this is not. This is a compliment. I could see her being someone to use that to her advantage. Some people are. I mean, in I, fact, I, most I, people that are on this show don't take advantage of that. I could see her. She, I feel like she's someone who uh, learns what her strengths are and takes advantage of them. I just, um, yeah. I mean, it could it could go that way. Um, I don't know. I th- I think she could do well. Yeah. What is she? How old is she? Twenty six. Okay. No, I j- I just want to point something out here real quick. Uh, 
Same bikini. There you go. Is it is it a sign? Could is it, it a, is it a cryptic message? Is it a sign? Is it a sign that she's the next poverty? Who knows? <laughs> okay, we got uh, Xander. That he popped up. Yeah. Okay. That's the last one. That's the last one. Last one has an Instagram. As as an Instagram, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have Xander, computer scientist, first person student or actual profession that's in a computer science field. Um, he's from Jacksonville, first player from Jacksonville. Um, he's also only the fifth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, or seventh, depending how you look at it. Um, Twenty year old. Seems like a. At first, I was like, maybe he's like frat boy esque, but he seems like kind of like a uh, adventurous young nah, college he, student. He has a virginity rock shirt. He definitely <laughs> is. Trust me. Trust me. I know. First player ever to be born after the show aired. We're f- oh wow, we're getting there, huh? You feel old? No. Um. Does he have a story? What's his story looking like? No story. He acts, Adam, he actually hasn't posted since he went on the show. Okay. What's, so. um, is he following any? Any survivors? I saw something survivor. Tra- he coach, follows, okay. He follows coach. He's going to the end. Winner pick. <laughs> <laughs> does he follow anybody else, Gully? Okay, yeah, he does. Um, Nick. Okay. Follows Nick. <clears throat> I might see. I might say uh, late jury. I could see him being like one of the guys. I was gonna. Just, I was. I was gonna say like a like a Eddie type. Probably. Yeah, I could see him being the the guy voted out on the uh, second to last episode, the episode before the um, yeah finale. That's what I'm going to pick for Xander. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm trying to look at who we haven't done. done, done Evie, Ev- we've done Deshaun. We did Eric. Oh, we didn't do Erica. We didn't do Erica. I did, oh, Erica Casupan. Cass- She's got a Twitter. A Twitter. Did you send it in your email? No. It's The thing is... I checked her Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and every single one are blocked. Like, you have to be following her. She has then to we, approve you. So we might as well not look at it. Yeah. She's the first ever communications worker on the show. She's the other Toronto. So she's the second Canadian on the show. Um, uh-huh. there's, she's 32. There's been 24 32-year-olds, but only one winner. That was Lucina and Game Traders. Um and then Hubicki was twenty, was thirty four when he played. I'm thinking, yeah, there's Erica. I'm thinking Erica. Here's the thing. We know nothing about her, like at all, because she's private. So because she's private, the only thing I can judge is that she's a very, in real life, private, reserved person. And usually those people um, do not make it far. I could see her, unless. <coughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I can see her being early. I'm going to say early boot for Erica. Yeah, I was, I was, I was going to say the same. Probably, probably early boot. Uh, her, her bio talks about Survivor, so she's a fan. I think she flames out. Yeah. Um, prove me, prove us wrong. Uh, prove okay, us wrong. this is the guy who has absolutely nothing online. Nothing. If you can find him. That's a victory. His name is, is Jenny Robin Chen. A 46-year-old grocery store clerk from Portland. First uh, ever grocery store worker. There have been five players from Portland. There's been Lindsay, um, or four. Lindsay and Danny, Danny from Gabon, who both were um, pre-merged boots. But two winners, um, the Sepia and Bob Crowley, are originally from Portland. Followed by Aubrey Bracco. I don't think that's the person because we did have a picture of him in the Survivor League, and it was not that person. I think Aubrey just jumped just the gun guess. and it was just tried to guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
There have been 16 players that have been 46. No winners. The only notable ones are Big Tom was 46 first time he played. Clay from Thailand was 46. Terry was 46 in Panama. Chrissy was 46. Um, he's tough. I, he could also be like a comedic relief character. Yeah, he looks like a fun guy based on this picture. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say late pre-merge, like barely make merge. I I'll do the same. I I I actually I think he might be late merge. How so old do you is think he? he'll make it pretty far? Forty six. Forty six. I mean, older in shape men. I mean, these. Yeah. Um. Okay, we did Ricard. Oh, we didn't do Sarah. You didn't do Sarah. You I, I sent you Sarah's. Oh. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Sarah. There you go. Okay. Very, very pretty, pretty lady. Wow. Flexible. She's, she's very pretty. You think so, Adam? Do you have a crush? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so she's I mean, young. She's all right. She's, she's young. She is... 23 years old, mechanical engineer, first ever mechanical engineer on the show, whether that's a student or regular. She's from L.A. There's been plenty of people from L.A., so I'm not going to do the statistics on everyone from L.A., but she's specifically from Sherman Oaks. Two players from Sherman Oaks, Will from Worlds Apart, who came in third, and then David Wright, who came in fourth and then 11. So that makes the average like six. 34 people have played that were 23. No winners. And But there's been a couple runner-ups. you got Gavin. You got Ryan, and you got Amanda, when, who is in China. Um, I don't like judging the ages of these players because this is such a young cast. Yeah, you know, it's not. It's not. It's not like uh, you know where somebody was eighteen and like everybody else is like you know the the next youngest person's twenty five. It's like everybody's pretty young. I mean, she's twenty three, and still, what? As far as the averages go like mm -hmm. average age. So I'm going to say know. late, late jury. I was going to say second place. Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to say late jury, like maybe seventh or eighth place on the show. I was, I, I was going to say she gets to the end and she's a goat. I think she might get uh -huh. the goat edit. Uh -huh. We'll see. Prove me wrong. I can see her she has, maybe being, she has a TikTok. Who was the, who was the girl on Karen Owen? Who was the girl on Karen Owen that, that, Cochran called Vanilla. Is it Julia? I don't know, man. <laughs> um. Okay, we got one more person, is that? and that is Tiffany Seely, who I found on Facebook. I don't know if Sarah, you want to look it up. Fifty K on TikTok. Is that good? Pretty decent. I mean, fifty K. All right, what? Tiffany Seely. If you look her up on Facebook, she's the only. Tiffany Seely on Facebook. T I teacher, teacher, huh? Yeah. If you if you copy and paste her name on Facebook. Why don't you tell us about the teacher? How teachers do? Um. So there have been twenty three teachers. Typically, okay. teachers, however, don't do good. I think it's because they um, are in a position where they. I mean, of course, they have bosses, but pretty much they're almost always in charge of other people and they, you know, try to re yes, that's her. You try to, they try to retake that command they have in the classroom um, on survivor. However, there have been two winners of course being Bob Crowley, former physics teacher and Amazing. Tommy Sheehan, a third grade teacher. So, but that being said, She's from upstate New York. Plenty of players from upstate New York, but they typically don't do well. Statistically, it seems like she might not do that well. I'm a sucker but, for moms, so I hope she does well because I love moms. <clears throat> but, you yeah, do, don't I you? don't know. I, I love moms, so what can I say? You know what? I'll but, say she's the – She's the. I'm going to give her um, – Is that her cherry is? In final three, you know what? I'm actually gonna put um, 
David as my other final three, and I'm gonna put her as a final three as well. But in like the, um, you know, I hate to say the goat role because I don't think she'll be a goat. But like, who came in third? Who is Shree from Caramoa? We have a lot of Caramoa references this episode. Um, who came in yeah. third? Who came in third on uh, 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 freaking 38? To me, to me, she seems like... Seems like oh, her. Uh, Julie Rosenberg? Yes. Yeah, seems like her. I'm going to say um, she she comes in third. She's my third place pick. Okay. Okay. So who is our yeah. winner pick out of all of these? I'm gonna go with the, the hard of hearing guy. Yeah, he seems cool. I like him. I think he he seems athletic. He seems very likable. He seems smart, just based off like the pictures and stuff. I, I don't know. He seems like he's just one of those. He seems like he's the most well-rounded. Um, All right, cast then I'm member. gonna then I'm gonna go David. See, David's my number two. I'm gonna go David. Our fan our fantasy draft's gonna be. I feel like they're gonna be the top two picks. But I also really like Sydney. I could see Sydney winning the the the, the future president. <laughs> the one you said looked like poverty. I didn't say she looked Tough like poverty. I said they have the same bikini. Nobody will ever <laughs> be poverty. Sorry. I mean <laughs> poverty's on another level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there you have it. There's our cast assessment. Um, yeah. based on their Instagrams, Facebooks, yeah. and Twitters. <laughs> Take everybody watching this, first of all, subscribe. And second of all, take this with a grain of salt because we are literally – we are just judging this based off of their Instagram photos, which we all know half the time is not an accurate representation of what's actually happening. Um, So, yeah. And and any of the contestants that are watching, we want to say final three for all of you. Yeah. I, if I you're, pick, you know. yeah, if you're watching this and you're any of these people that we just talked about, we actually think you're going to win the game. We just can't. Pick <laughs> all of you. So just keep yeah. that in mind. There's no so, one. There's no one, and I generally mean this. There's no one from the cast who I'm like, eh, they're not going to be good TV. I don't want to watch them. Every single one seems like there's something about them that would make them interesting. So I'm excited. I mean, every, this seems like a every good single, cast. Every single one of you guys, there's a reason you got picked to be casted, and that's a huge mm-hmm. accomplishment just to be casted. So obviously you, there's something about you that's awesome, and I uh, I hope right. that we get to see that. And if your edit sucks, I'm sorry. We'll, <laughs> we'll hug you and make you feel better about it. And come on the show. Exit interviews. Yeah, come come on the show. Blow up. Say your edit sucked. If you want, especially come on the show. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, man, season 41. I am so excited. Coming. Yeah, July, so June, excited. July, August. We got about three and a half months. Maybe four. Yeah, I mean, September. People from September all over. over. People from all over too. Then we got like three Californias. We got someone from Wash, two a Washington and a Portland, two Canadas. We have a Florida, Oklahoma, Texas, Phoenix. We have Southwest, South. We have a South Carolina, Nashville. So like deep South. We have um, what two Massachusetts. We have two New Yorks. We have a Chicago. Arizona, so man, we got Oklahoma. like yeah, we really got people from. Uh, from we all people, over. We got people from all over. We got a variety of ages. Wyoming. Very young. Nobody's over the age of 50. That 50 year old's the oldest, right? Yeah. Or do we have a 52 year old? Okay, yeah. I mean, we have a. Yeah. I mean, but a very young cast. Yeah, a very young cast. But still, we have some older people in there. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Guys, subscribe, join our Discord, follow our TikTok. And if you 